Hello fellow gamer, we have a wide range of options for our character creator. Would you like to pick your pronouns? No thanks. I just want male and female. What do you mean? We have he, him, she, her, and they, them. That's what you wanted, right? Nope. Just male and female, please. They're the same thing. <laughs> no, they aren't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I'm going to kill you. What? All transphobes must die. Okay, gather around everyone. It's everyone's favorite topic today. We're going to talk about politics. Everyone's happy. Yay! Okay, so recently there's been a bit of a discussion around pronouns in video games and media in general. So I'm deciding to throw my two cents into this video, or five cents, we don't do pennies in Australia anymore. It's sad. Uh, preferred pronouns are fucking stupid and you should stop using them and stop playing that game. So in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna distinguish the difference between pronouns as we have normally known them our entire lives and preferred pronouns. So what pronouns actually are, are third person descriptors of a person's biological sex. That's always been the case. The left-wing reinterpretation, the left-wing bastardization of that idea, of that grammatical function, is to say, oh, well, we can pick our pronouns because gender is a social construct and therefore, yada, 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 agree with my ideology. Gender ideology basically argues that your sex has nothing to do with your behavior as a man or a woman. It is all a social construct. The term gender was actually coined by a pedophile named John Money who experimented on twin boys by mutilating their genitals and having them perform sex acts on each other. Uh, you can look it up. Gender theory is where preferred pronouns come from. It stems from gender theory. And this is all important because when you put your pronouns in your social media bios, or when you engage with people who say, my pronouns are X, Y, and Z, you're actually trapping yourself in an ideological game that you are not designed to win. You're supposed to lose that game every single time. Something a lot of people like to say when you bring up this conversation is, I like to address people by their preferred pronouns because it's polite. Uh, no, it isn't. So here's an example. Person A walks up to you and says, my pronouns are X, Y, and Z. Now, already, just from that, you've been trapped in their ideological game. So now, you're being tested as soon as someone says that. Or if, even if they ask you, what are your preferred pronouns? It doesn't really matter if it's a question or a statement, right? If you comply or if you play along with them saying, my pronouns are whatever, 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 you are automatically conceding the argument that gender ideology is the normal state of the world. It is the default state and anyone who deviates from the default is wrong. You are affirming someone else's ideology against your will. If you disagree with the person who says my pronouns are this and that and you say no I'm not playing that game or I don't think you're correct at all then you're marked as a heretic. You're marked as an idiot. Let's compare this with religion. There's a guy named Shad from Shadiversity. He has put out some tweets uh, comparing religion and the gender ideology and why there is a double standard here. So I'll expand on the religion argument. In the past, if someone walked up to you and said, I am this kind of Christian. Are you this kind of Christian? That's another ideological trap. And a lot of people seem to not really understand that you can disagree with two ideological traps at the exact same time if they're similar. Let's say I'm a Catholic. I'm not religious. Let's say I'm a Catholic and I go up to a Protestant in Ireland and I say, I'm a Catholic, what are you? Or if I'm a Protestant and I say, are you Catholic? That's a trap. It's meant to get you in trouble. And it all ties right back into gender ideology. Gender ideology, or leftism in general, is the new religion in the West. So if you disagree with the new religion, the new status quo, you're a heretic. That's the point. That's the point of the game. You're not meant to win it. That's why you shouldn't engage with it. Another thing that really twists my balls about this topic is there are people who are trying to say, oh, well, if you complain about pronouns in your media, then don't play Pokemon because it asks if you're a boy or a girl. Therefore, it's the same thing. <laughs> I am so smart. It's like, fuck off, people. It is not the same thing. You bitched and complained for years that Pokemon wouldn't affirm your fucking gender identity. This whole time, you always complained that there are only two options because they're the only two that exist. And we know it's so disingenuous that they keep saying, oh, well, Pokemon did this. Well, Pokemon doesn't do that anymore, do they? And on the subject of Pokemon, we don't even get 
boy and girl options anymore. We get this body type A, body type B bullshit. So we're already seeing the Overton window shifting so much that you can't even say male and female or boy and girl anymore. It has to be body types and a letter. And what they end up doing is they end up proving the point, if you ask me. Because asking if you're a boy or a girl is not the same as asking your pronouns. Asking if you're a boy or a girl is just, hey, choose the sex of the character that you want to play, and the pronouns come with it automatically. <gasps> but it's the same thing! No, it's not. Picking your pronouns is an ideological trick. It's a semantic trick. Choosing the character's sex is very different. People need to stop giving that argument credence, because it's just fucking a lie. It's a lie. So at the end of the day, if you're going on the internet and you're going to talk about pronouns in video games, Preferred pronouns is where you want to fight the battle. If you don't frame the conversation in preferred pronouns, they're just regular pronouns. Leftists are just going to lie to you on the internet and say stuff like, Hey, you disagree with basic functions of English grammar? Well, you're just a fucking moron! If you frame the conversation within the realm of preferred pronouns, you can make it clear to everyone else and to yourself that you're not talking about the grammatical reality and the grammatical function of just regular pronouns for men and women and groups of people. The idea of preferred pronouns is to force you to agree with the concepts and tenets of gender ideology. And if you don't agree with it, if you think it's destructive and damaging to men and women's self-worth or the relationship between men and women, then make it clear you're talking about preferred pronouns. That's what I recommend doing. All transphobes. <laughs>